So hello, my name is Antonio Berrezo from uh, Technon Medical Center in Barcelona. I'm, I'm gonna explain you the highlight uh, related with ventricular tachycardia ablation uh, selected uh, for this year uh, to be presented this afternoon. So the first word we have selected uh, is direct comparison of left ventricular endocardial voltage and fibrosis measured by whole heart T1 mapping in patients with posinfar scar from the group of uh, Leiden. So investigators have uh, compared voltage, bipolar and unipolar voltage with the whole heart um, structure of the tissue and they have related this voltage with LG with hyperenhancement on MRI and uh, with uh, extracellular volume. They have found that in patients with LG and left ventricular remodeling, the bipolar voltage and the unipolar voltage are decreased as compared with patients that don't have uh, left ventricular remodeling in the myocardium remote to the area of the scar. And this could be related and could be uh, useful uh, for some new interpretations during uh, endocardial mapping. So we still need uh, to know exactly what would be the practical use of that, but it's very new insight. So the second one is automatic non-invasive substrate analysis from CT images in post-infarction ventricular tachycardia from Bordeaux and Sophia Antipolis, France. Investigators have uh, found a way using deep learning and artificial intelligence to segment the anatomy from CT scan and to find uh, zones with uh, thicker thickness in the area of the scar, which are sometimes related with ventricular tachycardia isthmus. And with this way of doing things, uh, with this kind of automatization, they go from 30 minutes to 30 seconds uh, to obtain the, the, the substrate of it is, and this could help a lot to see and to, to prepare these kind of images to be used in the electrophysiology lab. The third one is a clinical study on the use of these kind of images, in this case from uh, cardiac magnetic resonance, to guide interventions. And uh, for the first time, the group of uh, in fact, this is uh, my group of investigation from Technon Medical Center in Barcelona, have shown that ventricular tachycardia ablation procedures can be done purely guided by cardiac magnetic resonance imaging without the need of uh, an electroanatomical map. They uh, obtain very good results when it is compared with, with uh, procedures in which we don't have this kind of information procedure time, fluoroscopy time, radiofrequency time were highly reduced and inducibility after substrate ablation was also reduced. During long-term follow-up, results were better as compared when the BT ablation procedure is not done guided by imaging. Next one is radiofrequency catheter ablation versus medical therapy for treatment of symptomatic frequent PVC as first-line therapy in pediatric population one year follow-up of a randomized study uh, by inve investigators from Russian Federation and uh, United States. And they randomized pediatric population to catheter ablation and medical treatment in a randomized fashion. They follow patients during one year. The primary endpoint was freedom from PVC at 12 months at, after randomization and they found much better results with catheter ablation than with medical therapy. They reduce more the number of PVCs and the PVC burden. And this is for the first time the, the work that show that this probably should be done as first intention in this uh, patient population. Next one is mortality and morbidity reduction after frequent PVC ablation in patients with left ventricular systolic dysfunction from our group in, in Barcelona. This is a collaboratory study which is an international multi-center prospective study. Uh, in this study, more than 100 patients have been included and follow up during a mean of three years. 
and ablation of PVCs uh, has been observed in this study that produced an improvement in near functional class BNP levels and left ventricular ejection fraction, which is maintained at long term. And the main observation is that if you reduce a PVC burden uh, of about eight absolute points with respect to the baseline, this has an impact in heart outcomes. And the main observation was that you can reduce cardiac mortality or transplant and cardiac mortality, transplant or hospitalization for heart failure. And this is for the first time that we know that we can impact in heart outcomes with PVC ablation. So uh, for this year, this is uh, all. I think this is very good uh, investigation, very good news for us, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed with this uh, uh, summary of the ventricular tachycardia ablation new insights in ERA 2019. Thank you.